In this episode of Cobb TV, we are going to talk about my philosophy on songwriting. And I know what you're probably thinking, what would a drummer know about songwriting? Well, I've written tons of songs that you can find on my YouTube channel under the Cobb TV music playlist. Most of those are songs that I wrote, save for a few covers. But to quote Stuart Copeland, get behind a microphone. Yes. <laughs> it's a good piece of advice because there are three components to being credited as a songwriter. The melody, the lyrics, and the chord progression. If you did not take part in any of those, you do not have to be credited as a songwriter. So even if you come up with an awesome drum part, the band does not have to credit you unless it was agreed upon. Sorry drummers, trust me, I feel your pain. But maybe you don't sing. Well, that's okay. You can be a lyricist. Neil Peart of Rush was their primary lyricist and is credited as a songwriter on hits like Tom Sawyer. And that's actually where I began as a songwriter. The first song I wrote was just lyrics and then I gave it to my friend in the band who turned it into a song by adding chords and a melody to the words that I gave him and it sounded like this. It's hard to explain, it seems like a lie, and I feel so changed. It's not what it seems, even though you're real, you'll never be with me. You'll never be with me. I know, cringe, but we all have to start somewhere on our path to becoming Bob Dylan. And the thing about writing lyrics is it's important to feel whatever you're writing about. If you're sad, write a sad song. If you're in love, write a love song. And don't try to force something if you're just not feeling it. And that's my bit of advice. For me, songwriting is a form of therapy that gives me a perspective on my own life. Sometimes I'll be feeling down in the dumps and um, I'll just take how I'm feeling and put it into words and into music and by the time I'm done finishing and piecing together that song I'll feel a whole lot better. So that's method one is just writing lyrics and then if you have a band maybe they can help you turn it into a song. The next method is you're gonna need to pick up an instrument, whether it's piano or guitar, which are probably the two most common instruments used for composing modern songs. And for me, guitar was my first interest uh, instrument, but I didn't like playing chords. I tried to learn a few chords, but it hurt my hands too much. My hands were really small. I was really young at the time when I had a guitar. And so I, I learned riffs and Eventually, there was a block party song that I wanted to learn, and that's how I learned power chords. I didn't even know what power chords were. I just knew tabs. I just knew, oh, it's it's four, six, six, and so on and so forth. And and the song was Banquet, and it went something like this. And there's another guitar part that uh, kind of mirrors that one, and it's fun to play if you've got a friend to jam with. But anyways, that's how I learned a power chord. And then years later, I came across a Kings of Leon video of the singer doing a song that they didn't end up recording backstage when they were opening for Ben Queller. And anyways, with my ability to play power chords in my subconscious, I picked up the guitar and started imitating Caleb Followell, the singer of the Kings of Leon, in that song that he played. And when I 
played it for my friends, they actually laughed and smiled and it was a good feeling and they would even sing it back to me and kind of became a meme among us. And that kind of it inspired me to keep writing and make me, oh wow, I, I wrote a song and I showed it to everybody. I was real proud of it. Then even later on, I was at a party and there were two girls. One was playing a banjo and singing and her friend was singing harmonies and everyone was just so captivated by the folk and country music that they were playing with everybody and these stories that they were telling through the music. And I was inspired to want to do that. I said, you know what, I'm going to pick my guitar back up. I'm going to learn chords and I'm going to learn how to sing over the chords that way. If I'm ever at a campfire or a party, I can entertain my friends and the people who are there. So I went to the store, I found Johnny Cash's Live at Folsom CD, and I bought it, and Johnny Cash is one of my favorite artists of all time, and I thought, that's a good place to start. And one of the songs on there just happened to be one of the songs that they sang, the one that particularly uh, captivated me the most, and that's actually The Long Black Veil. And so I sat down and I learned it. Ten years ago, on a cold, dark night, Someone was killed beneath the town hall lights. There were few at the scene, and they all agreed the slayer who ran looked a lot like me. She walks these hills in a long black veil. She visits my grave when the night wind. Nobody knows, nobody sees, nobody knows but me. Something like that. But anyways, so what happens is you learn a bunch of songs singing and playing over guitar or piano or whatever your instrument is. And then when you go to write a song, a lot of those techniques just come out subconsciously when you're doing it. Definitely every music that you've ever been exposed to just comes out through your playing, especially the ones that you sit down to learn, whether it's intentional or unintentional. And so I was hanging out with my cousin and I wanted to write a song and he helped me with some of the lyrics. So I have to credit him. Shout out to my cousin Cal. And I wrote this song using the same root fifth strumming technique. Take a deep breath, make every moment last. Time moves slow, but today it's moving fast. The human race should be ran real slow. Don't pass by all the people that you know. The beach is a mountain that has crumbled through the sea. That's what I became right as you left me. Thoughts float through my head like a lidoscopic glass. The sun falls behind the ocean line as you watch it slowly pass. You feel the breeze blow through your hair and your bare feet on the grass. The moon reflects the memory of a day that came to pass. Freckled stars glow in the night like kaleidoscopic glass. So when writing that song, Kaleidoscopic Glass, it actually started out with the guitar part that I came up with first, and then the lyrics came second. And a lot of times that's how songs will be written. The music will be completed before the words, and then the words will be added in later. But we're going to come back around full circle to starting out with just the lyrics first. And it was my very good friend, the great Gaspar, who's appeared on many a video on the channel that brought this back to my attention when he said, start with the lyrics. And once you have the lyrics, a melody will form. And when you have a melody, you can build a chord progression around that. And so I kept that in mind when I went to write a song for a girl that I liked, I thought I would 
write a song that would just blow her mind and win her over. Um, and when I sat down, the intention totally changed. It became that form of therapy because I decided to write a song about my dog because I knew she liked country music and country music singers, the cliche is that they sing about their dog or woman in their truck. I know that sounds horrible, very bad stereotype, and I do love some country music. <laughs> and it didn't end up being coming a country song. Uh, I started writing the lyrics based off of how I felt about my dog's passing, and I didn't realize there were so many repressed emotions surrounding that event, and there were so many tears on the page by the time I was done, and it ended up becoming that form of therapy that I was talking about. And I was able to express, finally, how I felt about my dog Wilson passing away. And like Bruce Lee says, when one is not expressing himself, he is not free. So again, like I said, the melody kind of formed naturally around the words, and I just picked whatever chords I knew at the time that I thought fit with the words that I was hearing, and this is what came out. It's called Wait. You were the best friend a guy could ever have I didn't think that you would ever leave this earth You watched me walking through the door time and time again I didn't see that you needed me there Those times we would walk on down the street You'd say hi to all the people that you meet i try and look the other way But you would always make me stay All you tried to do is make me wait Wait, wait All you did all day is sit and wait Wait, wait all you did all day is sit and wait Wait for me to come back home Staring out the front window All you did all day is sit and wait And that was a little sample of Wait, a song that means a lot to me and there's not a lot of songs I've written like that where it just kind of flowed through me naturally and even the the chord progression is interesting I didn't even know it was in three keys when I wrote it someone else pointed that out to me and I didn't write it with any intention of having stops or longer chords and pauses things like that it just wrote itself and even Carol King says when she wrote you've got a friend that it felt like she was just the vessel in which the song wrote itself. And in my opinion, those are the best songs, uh, you know, because they just flow naturally and you can really separate your ego from the song. And, you know, it just wrote itself. It, we're just the vessel. We're, our minds are receptors to all these different things that are out there that we don't even know about. And, you know, and then that's how a lot of really good music is created. At least that is my philosophy. And that's really what this is about. It's not about writing top hit it's about expressing yourself that's what songwriting is to me it's the pinnacle of making music you learn and expose yourself to all this music and then you do something with it you form an identity <laughs> and so hopefully you liked the video and got something out of it if you liked any of the music uh, feel free to check it out on my youtube channel under the Cobb TV music playlist Spotify iTunes these songs that I played for you in this video are not out yet. Uh, Kaleidoscopic Glass and Wait have been recorded and are in the process of being finished. So keep a lookout for that in the near future. And in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.